today's installation is the PyShock version 5.0 released earlier this month. The last update that I had released for this video was back in December, which immediately, within about a week, became out of date due to an update to VRC OSC. Today we will be talking about how to add it to the avatar. I'm not going to go over the uploading, I presume that has been already covered by your own tests, as well as setting up the VRC OSC version 2, the PyShock module. I will not go into very detailed specific details of that however i will cover some basics i will help cover any of the more fine-tuned details as time goes on depending on questions issues that people come up with version 5.0 uh, starting with four point something's beta no longer requires the lolatron's unity package to be imported due to some confusion and issues with the blender file not appearing quote unquote i have out put that as a FBX for people to use. I have still left references to credit Lolatron for her work and to further credit her. Uh, the setup for that is not really needed for anybody else. This is about as close to plug and play as absolutely possible. Literally you drag, drop, size, rotate, however you wish to wherever you want it and this will run as it should. Uh, the OSC parameters don't need to be touched or configured or altered. VRC Fury does most of that work for you. It is using the default parameters for VRC OSC. So if for some reason in your program a VRC OSC version 2 has been altered, this will not work. You will need to either revert those settings back to default or manually up, I say update, adjust the settings in the asset here. Uh, reach out to me on Discord as you may see ne needed. However, as this, has, this project has now gone for one year, no one has had that issue yet. In this project, as you see on screen, I have set this up with a avatar already imported in, no changes have been done, and I have imported the Touch PyShock Visual Edition, also no changes have been done. The only other changes that have been added to this project. In the VR Chat Creator Companion, as you can see on screen, these are the current packages that are imported. The default ones for the VR Chat Package, package Resolver Tool, the SDK base avatars. Gesture Manager is optional but recommended for easier testing within Unity. The Poyomi Tune Shader is required for the Visual Edition, not necessarily required for the uh, Core Edition. You may have a shader issue with the material file, just update it to whatever shader you want and it should just work. And VRC Fury is the most important as it does a lot of the automations for you. It is possible to set this up to where you do not need VRC Fury. You can merge in the necessary FX file parameter files as you see needed. You don't have any overlap issues with any other projects that I am currently aware of. Switching back to the Unity project, we will go ahead and merge in the project. Uh, the uh, we'll merge in the prefabs. If you're using just one physical PyShock or one group of PyShocks, the solo is recommended. If you are using more than one PyShock, use the more than one physical PyShock folder, which has the groups zero through seven or eight PyShocks. It is also recommended to import one of these two central commands. These are for essentially controlling the pie shocks in one go instead of having to hop through one pie shock, then another, then another to make the same changes. This allows you to change all of them to the same intensity, the same cooldown, the same duration, switch them all between shock or vibrate all at the same time, as well as disabling them all at the same time. The props will still stay in place, but they will only buzz. So if for some reason something goes out of chaos and you need to turn off the shocking, you can switch it to vibrate. At least they will only vibrate and not drive you nuts with the shocks. Mileage will vary as each person's limitations are different. Switching back to the solo, I will navigate to my left shoulder. If I can click, that would be absolutely useful. And left arm. I will drag and drop this right onto the left arm. As you can tell, the prop is obviously very large for this avatar. That is a scaling issue change. I've noticed this for a lot of different base models where this is extremely large, while others it's not so big. For these purposes, I will show some basic rotation adjustments, but I'm going to start off with a copy paste of the transform that you see up here from my other project. Let me get to copy those in right quick. Here, these are negative 8.762, 
negative 42.731 and 0.904 with a scale of 0 0.0008 and it puts it right in place and then, like I said those are just copied position and rotation from another project just for this project uh, for this video tutorial if you're needing to adjust it you got the arrows to change the location as well as the rotation as you may see fit once that's done all you have to do is upload for the vrc osc version 2 setup for the touch pie shock you will need to have vrc v uh, osc version 2 installed currently it's 2025 327.3 you will need the PyShock module selected and you will need to configure it as again I will not go into all the details but I will step through the basics you will need to put in your username you will need to generate an API key which will open up a web browser page if you're not already signed into PyShock's website you will need to sign in and you will get this key be careful if you were to ever regenerate this key any prior generated keys will become null and void if you happen to be using this for two or more things let's say this project and let's say you're a twitch streamer that has redemptions for no shocking you or otherwise not going to judge if you were to generate a new key one or both sides will stop working so keep a copy of this generated key for your later use once that is set up you will need to name your pie shock you will need to make a share code details on the uh, store page but in short you will get a url that has a code at the very end that is all numbers you need to copy those numbers paste them into the share code list last step is the groups that's where the pie shock solo or 00 through 07 is residing you will need to hit the plus button which in this case i'll hit edit you'll need to name the group doesn't matter set what you want your maximums to be i left these as default as one second and 100. the scaling of this 100 will uh, will affect your scaling in your P touch pie shock i recommend keeping this to 100 that way whatever percentage you set up in game will be accurate if you were to set this to say 50 and set the in game to 100 you will only get 50 while in game if you set it to 50 you only get 25 of the max intensity of what you have here it scales i recommend keeping this at 100 for your own uh, simplicity of understanding this is where you will then add the shocker that you've added up here into here if you have nothing in the shocker list group zero isn't going to affect your pie shocks you will have errors showing up in the vrc osc left side panel once you have all these set in place and you go over to play it either should automatically start depending if you have it set up or you will have to hit play vrc osc will pop up stating that it's trying to connect to your vr chat it will vanish the pop-up when it is connected you should see a pop-up in vr chat stating that it has connected and when the pie shocks are activated each time they will list in here with the intensity as well as the duration for each time as of version 5 when the touch pie shock is touched within milliseconds the log will update followed by a second update stating that it has been activated that second line is about the same time as when the shock activates first time experiences have been with about three or four seconds within the second following shocks have been about roughly two seconds personal experience it will vary depending on your computer and internet use cases